Hey. Hey. It's your girl, Benny DMC. Your boy, T. Bell. Here, back again with another... Come on, man. You need to crack it. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, where are we looking? Are you, are you looking at? At the camera, obviously, bro. <laughs> you give me some faith. Talk to me, babe. You wanna be by me? <laughs> hey, hey, it's your girl, Danny DMC. Ooh, Welcome man. back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm not glad I'm here. <laughs> I'm grumpy, and I'm probably grumpy because... Tyler is forcing me to go to the gym. So Tyler is very athletic. <laughs> he works for Jordan Brand and Nike and does all the athlete things. He played college basketball. He's a phenomenal basketball player. <laughs> and like Tyler's idea of like a great day is like, I don't know, wake up, you know, go play basketball for like three hours. Go eat some lunch, go back to the gym for like five and a half hours. Like, then maybe finish off with some hooping again after <laughs> like the weight room and endurance. For sure. So, going to the gym together is not my favorite thing. Definitely um, not. Definitely not. And I will say it's hard because since I do love myself so much and I think I'm so bomb, it's hard to get a lot of motivation to go to the gym because I love the way my body looks. And I feel like a lot of people's driving force to go to the gym is like, oh, I hate my body, I wanna be skinny, I wanna be this, I wanna be that. So I feel like it's hard for me to get a lot of motivation. When I first moved to LA, I was so good about the gym. I was going like, me and Ty would do challenges because you know we're long distance. So we'd be like, okay, um, every single day this week, we're gonna do some type of workout. And I was good about it. Like. I would go to the gym or I would do a really good pool workout or something like that. But then just with my schedule and being so busy, like then I just stopped going to the gym and I stopped prioritizing it because I have very little free time. And when I do have free time, since I don't really enjoy working out, I'm not like, oh, let me take this free time and go to the gym. I'm like, let me relax and meditate and woosah from my crazy day-to-day -day life. Um, but I am trying to prioritize it more. I definitely don't want to lose weight, but I want to tone, I want to have muscle, I want to keep my heart healthy um, so I can live a long, healthy life and run around with our kids. Because I don't want Tyler to just be like the athlete dad that like runs around with our kids all the time and I don't get to run around with them. Like that's lame, I don't want to be in the house. Like well, we all outside in the yard. I want to be in the yard. And let's put that booty in the shape. Oh, so yeah, and that's what we're about to do. So I'm about to switch cameras and bring my vlogging camera to the gym with us. I'm very fortunate too, like the apartment complex I live in in LA has such a nice gym. It's like a two floor gym, very modern, great equipment, and it's free, 99. You know what I mean? So like, why am I not getting it in, getting it in every day? So whenever Tyler comes here, he forces me to go to the gym. Last time I went to the gym was when you were here last. Yeah. Which that was a minute ago because I was in Chicago. Yeah, that was a minute That was ago. a minute ago. That was like what? When was that? Over a month ago. Yeah, a month and a half, maybe two. Yeah. It's a minute and a half. Thanks, man. But yeah, I just want to be the driving force to let you know that like what we preach at work, everybody is an athlete. Everybody can get it in. Doesn't matter. I feel as if everyone needs to prioritize two to three workouts a week, maybe. They don't have to be crazy, but something fun, something that keeps the heart rate up, something that keeps you active. And I'm saying, tries to get me to do workouts that are really hard on my body. Like, I feel like it's important if you're overweight to understand your body. Yes. And for me, like, I, I've been overweight my whole life. Like, I used to be almost, like, 345 pounds, almost. And because I was that big, carrying that much weight on me, I have a lot of strain on my knees and ankles and wrists. And so I have to be careful and I have to understand like my body and I have to work the muscles and tissues around like my knees and wrists and stuff like that to gain the strength there. Right. And I can't just like jump up on things or like- No, I totally understand. Do stairs and stuff like that. I feel like there's some similarities, you know, with being an athlete that has to jump all the time to yeah, you know, you, do something. So yeah. 
Yeah, you I, have I strain on your knees too. Yeah, you know, I feel from dunking you. and stuff like that. Jumping up high like that. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. So yeah, we're gonna have a blast today. Show you guys some interesting cool workouts that everybody can implement into their day to day or throughout the week. I don't want to go. Come on, big baby. All right, so if you want to um, watch me be tortured, <clears throat> continue watching this video. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to switch to my vlog camera, and I guess we're going <clears> to <throat> get it started. I'm really trying to procrastinate, but it's not working too well. So. Uh, let's go. Let's get it. Please. <laughs> I'm gonna need some prayer and positivity. Okay, thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> About to get it in with Bay real quick. Oh. She looking irritated. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I'm ready to get it in. <laughs> what? What, man? Okay, so say something. We here. Yeah, we about to get it in video. in the gym. Let's get it, babe. Let's get it. Why are you looking so depressed? I don't want to go. Oh my gosh, babe. We about to kill it. We got to have good energy, good flow. Come on, you gotta be pumped about this. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. There we go. Let's get it. Positive energy, positive workout. Come on, you got this. You got this. Let's get it. <laughs> Just kidding. Flex Studio. I'm about to flex on y'all. Just kidding. No formal makes me angry.
All right, we are moving outside of the studio because the lighting was too dark and these people just left. So I'm gonna finish stretching here and then do some. What are we doing next, Ty, after stretching? We're doing a little bit of warming stretching and then on the treadmill, warm up. Yay! Almost done with the warm up. Warm up is complete. Not sure how I'm already sweating and out of breath, but still irritated trying to turn my mood around and really get into it. Hopefully some cardio will get me there. I feel like cardio usually breaks my bad mood. Let's get it. Tyler's showing me the workouts he's about to go through. 
we're doing abs, arms, legs, and then we out of here. Thank God, we've been here for like 45 minutes already. Last one. Last one. Turn them out. Overhead. Just the elbows being, yeah. Keep the elbows closer. Yes, yes. All the way up, all the way up. Good. Yeah. Let's get it. So how was the workout, babe? It was good. It's hard working out with you. You annoy me. It's hard working out with your family and others because with the children, it's like you can't talk ish to them. And um, yeah, I feel like it was good. I got to work in. I'm sweating. I feel like I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. We did it. I'm cooling down. And the fact that we got here and did something that's important. That's the first step. And I gotta keep coming back. Let's go. Let's get it. That's a wrap, folks. We're signing out. Signing out. T-Bell and Danny. We love y'all. All right, I know we were signing off, but I just wanted to say one more thing. I love you guys, and go out, be confident, take on the world. Sometimes all you need is a partner to force you to go to the gym or force you into a habit that you need just to push you. That's what a real partnership is, having someone that pushes you to do things that you're not comfortable doing or pushes you to do things that you've been putting off, procrastinating. I feel like Ty and I have a really good balance of that. We both push each other a lot, and that's what it's all about. That's what a healthy relationship's all about. And sometimes that's all you need is that one person. It doesn't even have to be a significant other. It can be a best friend. It can. Okay, my camera died, but yeah, I just wanted to say I love you guys and find someone, a partner that can push you hard and make you do great things. Love you. Thanks for pushing me. Bye, guys. What? One oh, kiss. Sorry. Mm. Tastes like banana bread. He just ate a banana. All right, love you guys. Go get in the gym. Keep that heart healthy.